Hi, second grade. Welcome back to Book A Day. We have got a great book today. It is called The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Wow. Let's look at our vocabulary word before we get into reading. Our vocabulary word today. Look at my mouth while I chunk it. Auspicious. Auspicious. How many syllables does the word auspicious have? Yeah, three. Now auspicious, it's an adjective, a describing word. That means hopeful or encouraging, like getting a sign that everything will go well. Like that rainbow right there. I wonder how the word auspicious connects to our book today. Now while we're reading the dot, we are going to be practicing those summarizing elements that we are going to learn about this week. Our somebody wanted, but, so, and then. So we're gonna practice identifying those in The Dot. The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Look at the expression on her face. How do you think she's feeling? Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. My friends, a polar bear in a snowstorm. What was actually on Vashti's paper? Yeah, nothing. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! A jab is like a synonym, a same, same, same synonym for poke or prod. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. She signs her name right there. Now second grade. So far, who do you think is the main character in the story? Yeah, I think it's Vashti too. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot! All framed in swirly gold. Wow. Hmm. I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Now, second graders. What does our main character Vashti want in our story? What does she want so far? They're reading this page. Hmm, I can make a better duck than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. What does she want? Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Cool. Now my friends, what is the challenge that Vashti's running into? Think it's kind of a tricky one. She just can't stop making dots, right? Yeah. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. <gasps> now here, Vashti already solved that challenge of her not being able to stop making those dots. What did she do with them? What did she do with all of her dots and how did she solve her problem? Yeah, she showed them at the school art show. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. 
You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Sign it. Just like at the be just like at the beginning of the story, my friends, just like what Vashti's teacher told her. Now how does our story end here? Yeah, it ends by Vashti inspiring somebody else to draw a picture as well, to draw a line and to keep going. Oh, second grade, what a great story. We actually just practiced our summarizing that we will be working on this week. We're going to be practicing summarizing using somebody wanted, but, so, and then. And we did that throughout our story. So let's just look back. Our somebody in our story was Vashti, and she wanted to make a better dot. But then she could not stop making dots. So she displayed all of her dots in the school art show. And then the story ended with a little boy getting inspired to draw after seeing her art, and then the story would continue on. Yeah, now we need to look at our vocabulary word of the day. Auspicious. Auspicious, remember it's an adjective, a describing word that means hopeful or encouraging, like getting a sign that everything will go well. My friends, think about the word auspicious. How can you describe something that happened in the dot or maybe a character using the word auspicious? Hmm. I might say, hmm, let's look back at our story. Vashti's dot being displayed by her teacher was auspicious. It was hopeful or encouraging to her. It was like she was getting a sign that everything would go well. Yeah. Okay, second grade, have fun doing our book-a-day today. Bye.